With the surprise announcement of the Mac transitioning from Intel to Apple own ARM based chip, this marked a new era for the Mac lineup and further unified the Apple ecosystem in a big way. Apple believes ARM based chips are the future. Due to its low power consumption, smaller size, and most importantly, perform on par or even better than most PC on the market. The limitation that's currently faced by Apple is the app support. The first ARM based Windows laptop failed because of the lack of app support and it essentially become a large web browsing machine. And with Apple attempt and claim they would fully switch from Intel to their own silicon in around two years, I think they are confident that most developers will ride on the transition tree. As most of the applications nowadays have been written for iOS device and transitioning to the new Mac will be painless. And this opens up possibility to the iPad as well. As both iPad and Mac will be running on the same chip architecture. Heck, even the ARM-based developer transition kit is run on the same processor as the iPad Pro. The A12Z. Furthermore, iPadOS is some way, shape, or form running macOS. So, this opens up the possibility that Mac exclusive app will be able to port into iPad. And the most anticipated app for me is Final Cut Pro 10. During Apple WWDC presentation, they showed a demo of Final Cut Pro 10 running on the Mac with an A12Z Bionic processor. In the video, they show off three 4K clips running at the same time without any lag. I mentioned that all Apple first party apps are fully optimized for Apple Silicon. I do hope they come up with a better name in the future. So, since this Mac and the iPad is running on the same chip and an almost similar software, what's the Final Cut Pro 10 going to the App Store? I really do hope this idea is already in the pipeline. Don't get me wrong, I love using Luma Vision on my iPad Pro with its ability to play up to 6 4K clips at the same time. And that's my sole reason for getting an iPad Pro, so that I could edit on the go. But even though, it is currently the most powerful with it in software in the App Store. There are still some features that are left to be desired. You guys can check out my small data review on Numa Fusion right up there or in the description below. Final Cut on the iPad will be a huge upgrade for video editors like me, but I'm expecting a full flash experience from it, as there is no reason to limit feature on the iPad version since both of them have the same hardware. Maybe RAM will be the issue? Who knows? So, since app from the App Store will work flawlessly in the Mac without any tinkering from the developer, just like they show in the demo, I do hope Final Cut Pro 10 will come to the App Store in the near future, and it will make me a happy camper. And that's it. Which desktop app do you wish it come to the iPad? And you could leave your desk and vote any way you want. Leave a comment down below. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Ciao.